Ooh, lads, it's always a good reminder to stay strapped, especially if some dumb goofball and his stupid friends walk into your house. But don't worry, <laughs> it's a prank, right? It's funny. It's funny when a bunch of shithead teens just kind of walk as shithead teens. The 18 year old fucking grown ass adults. It's, it's hilarious when dumb fucking prankster TikTokers just walk right into your house or steal your dog or ask you if you want to die. Because it's a prank, idiots. It's a prank. Well, that's funny because I got a prank of my own if you come walking into my fucking house. Look at this. It says Desert Eagle on the side of it. And that's funny because it's not a Desert Eagle, right? We're not in the desert. It's not an eagle. It's a fucking cannon. Anyhow, stay strapped, boys. Head over to saltmustflow.com. Head over to the merch. And let everybody know that you geeked up and you strapped up. So probably not probably not a good target for pranks. <laughs> Speaking of pranksters, boys. See how I tied that all in? Uh, they got him. Boom. Mizzy's been arrested. How? How? How has the criminal mastermind known as Mizzy, the TikTok prankster, how has he been foiled, subterfuged? How has he been Sherlock Holmes? How? how? Well, because he recorded everything. And then he put it on TikTok. And it went viral and millions of people saw him committing all of these fucking crimes. Call me crazy. But when I committed all of my crimes as a teenager, uh, I didn't record them. I mean, motherfucker, we were sitting there going, is that a camera? Ooh. This dumb idiot's like, oh my god, Viv, put the camera on me. Oh my god. Let's go commit all the crimes. <laughs> no, that's dumb. But of course, in Western civilization, if you got a certain, I don't know, amount of midichlorians, you know what I'm talking about, right, Scott? You know what, you know what I'm talking about, right? Got a certain amount of midichlorians, you can just do whatever the fuck you want. This dude wasn't even kicked off a of TikTok until public outrage was like, damn! Damn, fools, how many crimes can you commit, record, and post to fucking TikTok before you catch a ban? Well, again, depending on midichlorians a lot, because that's the point of TikTok. They're trying to trick dumb fucking youth into thinking that this is normal, this is fine, and to go out and replicate it. They want you to get fucked up. They want you to get desert eagled, is what they want. That's what TikTok wants. That's what these platforms want, you dumb idiots. So after all of this went mega viral, TikTok was like, oh, fuck, man. All right, I guess I, I guess we kick him off. And then he screamed, white supremacy. Oh, my God, I can't believe that I've been white supremacy to buy a Chinese platform. Everybody knows them chai comms are white supremacists just like the Mexicans. Apparently, some stupid shit like this. I don't know how this all works. But, uh, well, now he's been arrested. So it's uh, two scoops of racisms. You know it, right? Independent boys. TikToker who entered strangers' home. Defends videos amid calls for his arrest. Oh, no, no, no. He's been arrested now. He had to turn himself in. Turn himself in. Oh, that's a, sh oh, that's a shame. That's a shame. To be honest with you, you fucking idiot. That's the best thing for you. I'm actually a little bit upset that you've been arrested, if you know what I mean, because uh, that's the safest thing for you at this point to be arrested, because you're going to keep doing your shit, and you're going to run out of runway soon enough. Anyhow, exclusive quote, I'm a black, I'm a black male doing these things, and that's why there's such an uproar in the inner zones. No, no, sane people don't like criminals. Yeah, yeah, it's weird how that works. But uh, being a rampant asshole criminal and recording it it's repugnant to most people who are saying not these idiot lefties who pour kool-aid in their fucking hair goofballs but now to the rest of us who go to work you know production of society we get tax raped and all this type of stuff that yeah we, we got like this disdain for open criminality just being shoved in our face and uh yeah you just kind of showed everybody how stupid all this was congratulations by the way congratulations oh my god racism man it's the way of the prank, everybody, the prank. So, the one that really fucking set everybody off was when he just walked into this house. Him and his dipshit friends, they just walk into this person's house. He's got kids. You're lucky you didn't get fucked up, man. You are, you don't, this dumb idiot doesn't even understand how lucky he is. Again, he's so lucky to have been arrested. We'll have to see how that works out, because I don't imagine you're going to be in there very long. You're going to get shoved right out. Hey, fucking idiots. In all of these Western civilizations and these Democrat-run shitholes or your left-wing equivalent over here. They've got BLM police cars. Their cars are probably rainbow-flavored at this point. You know this motherfucker is going to be immediately released because of fifis and racisms, right? So, 
the, 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 we'll see what happens. <laughs> but uh, he goes into this fucking house, walks right into it. There's kids and stuff in there, but it's a prank, idiots. Look, Mizzy claimed that he went to the family's house the day after, and he posted a video, and he placed I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I walked right into your house. I'm sorry that I almost upended your fucking life, because if that dude would have shot that dumb fucker for walking into his house and being a threat to his family, because only an insane person would just walk into somebody else's house. Oh, no, 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 come on, man, it's a, it's a prank. Yeah, yeah, the, the dude's going to 12-gauge prank you right back. If that dude, and I don't know if common law still exists in merry old fucking England over there, considering that's where it started, be weird. Um, if that dude would have blasted an intruder who posed a threat to his family, you left-wing terrorists would have burned the place down. You would have ruined that dude's life. Or this fucking idiot's stupid TikTok channel and his bad decision-making skills, you would have attacked the dude defended himself protecting his family because you're fucking idiots and you're AIDS. That's why. And so, no, he's look there. He apologized for putting the dad in that situation. Guy, it's just a joke. It's funny. It's funny when he goes out and he asks women at night in a subway station if they want to die. It's lols and jokes when he jumps on Hasidic Jews. Funnily enough, that's the only thing that he's ever caught a rap for. By the way, he's done all this stupid shit. And the only time he's ever been arrested was he asked a uh, Hasidic Jew if he wanted to die or he jumped on Probably both. Then jumped on That one he was arrested. But then, again, released because of the Scott Adams axiom, I guess. I'm not quite sure how that works, but immediately released. But then rearrested for this. But it's a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke. He said that while he's not the kind of person to have regrets, he does feel, quote, sympathy and remorse in this case, adding, quote, I wouldn't do that again, he said, quote, it could have been the best or worst decision of my life. Well, that doesn't make any fucking... What do you, mean? You, you wouldn't have done... You don't know if it was the best or worst decision, but you wouldn't do it again. But what if it was the best decision? You but you have... You have remor- You fucking idiot. Nope. Nope. It all boils down to racism, though. It's definitely racism. Oh my God, sis. I can't... Why won't you just let me walk into your house? Why won't you let me just steal your dog? Why won't you let me just threaten you? Huh? It's all a joke. And it's all lols and funny. No, they want to upend lefties and these uh, globalist kid fucking lizard people. They want to upend societal norms and Western civilization, common law. They want to upend all of it and hand it over to a bunch of fucking people who've never created anything. You lefties, all you do is set shit on fire and rip down statues. You never built anything. And every single foundational principle that was utilized to build up all of these great civilizations is being undermined by things like TikTok and leftards out there, and they don't even understand, the leftards don't even understand what they're doing. They don't understand that they're, they're just useful idiots in this. We're being attacked from the inside out. This dude's committing open fucking crimes, and it takes a massive, massive, massive public outcry to get the dude kind of right. He's gonna be, he gonna be out of, he's gonna be out of jail before fucking sunrise. Because this is the attack on our society. They are going out. You see all these lefty idiots. They go out there. They cry and they have 15 funerals. And they make bronze statues out of all of their favorite fentanyl heads and these other criminals. And they arrest and they want to destroy the people who protect their property, protect their house, protect their family, who stand up for themselves, who protect others on subway. They don't want... They, they want you to stand down. And they want you to die. Is what they want. No, oh, fuck you. I'm strapped. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. Support channel. We kept up to date on... It's pranks, guys. Just all pranks. But don't arrest me because I'll be racisms. Hit that subscribe button and make way because the salt must flow.